a skin you're not even going to use after like a day after. Dude, I don't even have a fork. Sometimes on the road, I guess you just got to eat whatever. So I ended up eating rotisserie chicken for breakfast. Are you eating rotisserie chicken for breakfast? Noah randomly just got a big old rotisserie chicken for breakfast, and I was like, why? Damn, you're gonna have to blur that out because of how nasty he eats. Yeah, Noah's just a weird kid, bro. I'm telling you. You good? Best chicken I had. We're here in Santa Fe, and before we head north, we're gonna stop at the skate school. The skate school is a little place where kids can come and learn how to skate and learn about skateboarding and stuff. Welcome to Skate School. Hi, I'm Joe Lem. I'm the owner director here at Skate School in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And we teach the fundamentals of all four kinds of skateboarding to all ages and abilities. Joe owns a skate school where he like, teaches kids how to skate. And he was like teaching us about skate history and stuff. Steel wheels, pretty harsh, wasn't that fun. It's pretty cool to see how the boards have evolved since early years. Here's our shop in here. Since I broke my board in Albuquerque, I has got a little skate job at the skate school. So Noah was able to grab a new board and he was pretty hyped. They didn't have any Deathwish boards, but he hooked me up with the Baker board. They didn't have any his size, so he had to get a bigger board. And the trucks on his board were still very small. People have no trucks right now because of like the pandemic and everything. So I'm gonna have to skate small trucks on a big board for now. Hopefully we find a shop that has bigger trucks. I never thought about visiting New Mexico, so it was pretty cool. I had a great time. We're heading north towards Denver. We got a really long drive ahead of us, but I'm really stoked to see Colorado. We got some junk food and I got a quick sushi. One funny thing about Noah, when he eats, when you buy him food and he eats, Noah eats like he's doing life in prison. He just protects his food, his arm is around the plate. He eats like he's in prison. On the way to Denver, we stopped over at Colorado Springs. There's a park in Colorado Springs I've seen it before on Instagram, so I'm definitely stoked to skate it. There was a lot of people at Colorado Springs, and all of them were pretty cool. There was a bunch of good skaters there, and we were all having fun skating together. They had this good Euro gap. Jax dared Noah to do this like bike rack rail. It's pretty cool rail, but I was not doing it. And Jack's like, I'll give you a thousand dollars if you try it. I'll give him a thousand hundred. He's like, you won't hit the rail. All right, Jack, say it won't. You won't. You won't. All right, Jack. And I just board it. And Noah did the board side first try. I know. And then he wanted to front board it. He won't front board it. Pay off Jax, you know the deal. You owe him what, 100, you said 100 million dollars? 1,000, you said 1,000. 2,080. Jax, just having fun. You know Jax, he goes crazy at every park he goes to. They had this random wooden vert ramp there for no reason. Damn! Jax has fun everywhere he goes. Yeah, the park randomly has like a huge wooden vert ramp in the back. Oh, f you. Scared, bro. Stand at the edge. Heck no! That vert ramp is scary! You should have oh, 
No skating the barrier. He got a pretty cool back tail on it. God damn. Jesus Christ. Right before he finished up skating, there's like a nice sunset right next to the mountains. Can get my board. Jesus. Right, help me out. JJ Christ, don't do it like a <laughs> arm wrestle. I think that was my favorite park yet. Yeah, I want to go back. The park was really fun. The Colorado Springs Park was pretty cool, but now we're going to head over to Denver and get a sesh there. We just got to Denver Park, and it's a pretty big park. It has some weird obstacles. The park is like really big, it's like really flowy. Skating this bump to ledge right now, it's pretty cool. It's kind of a weird bump to ledge, but I like it. Jax is just bumping around these wave things right now, and it's pretty funny. While I was cruising around Deep Park, I happened to roll my ankle kind of bad. He kind of like hit his ankle really bad, so it's hurting him right now when he's trying to skate. I hope he's all right. The Denver Park was pretty cool, but everybody's hungry and Noah's over it, so we're gonna go get some food. I come in peace. I come in peace. Mike lives in Denver, so we're gonna stay in his house for a night, and it's gonna be nice to get out the RV. We just ordered some pizza, so now I'm trying to go in the hot tub. <laughs> Next time on Zion's Way. Before we go head over to the mountains, we're gonna go check out our Vada Skate Park. This is one of my favorite parks so far. Bro, Jax is a huge ball of energy. My ankle's feeling good enough to skate the six rail. I'm gonna try to get some clips on it. We're driving up into the mountains right now and we kept getting higher and higher and higher. I'm never going up that road again. This is the first time Jax has ever seen snow. Obviously, the first thing he did was start throwing snowballs at us. Is Jax crying? Yeah, he's crying. His hands are cold. We're gonna go see this park called Frisco Skate Park. It was really cool to look around skating and seeing mountains. You better get out there and go straight for that triangle. Or else. First of all, park was pretty cool, but we're gonna go hit up this park in Breckenridge. Oh, yo! We met this one kid named Billy Hazard, and he's super funny. He was so hyped to see Zion and Jax. He did a backflip. Jax, are you an influencer? Jax is a public figure.